Name is Moa, I live at 6346 East Half Road. Over the past two weeks, this town has lost two of its most loyal servants. One being W.D. Pat Flanagan, who was on this board for many years. You read his name everywhere, that he was part of the people that recommended this building be built. A true and loyal servant, not only to the town of Cicero, but to the residents of Diem. We recently lost another great servant of this town. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Harvey Chase passed away yesterday morning. Hmm. I think that it's incumbent on this board to have a moment of silence in your memory. Thank you. Okay. So anyone else would like to address the board? Pardon me? No, you're also good. Can we name the please? Ray Shader, 7229, Bridge Port, Monroe Road. I see tonight we scrutinize the, the Parks and Recreation spending and the Highway Department. Are we going to continue through the year with the, the lawyer fees and the Police Department? There's nothing that's sacred this year. Okay. Thanks. Does anyone else would like to address the board? Tabaloo 6121 Palm Summit. Uh, my question is for Chris, if I may ask. I appreciate you having taken the opportunity to come down and do the flood route that we had installed. I think it was before Christmas. I, I lost track of the time. Yeah, I, I it was in a decent time of the year and you didn't have much snow. Um, we've been looking for several years, and I know that we have talked about, I, I'm not sure if the highway department's going to do it, but we need to have that drain easement cleaned. That would be more off-road. That would be Wayne Dean. You're talking about the area <laughs> yeah. next, next door to you where you mow? Or? Yeah, but my, my, I, I thought, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't think you're passing the buck, but I thought you were going to have the highway department do some of this work that you didn't have to contract out to spend additional money when you had the time and opportunity, and now that the snow's melted, and once the rain subsides and it gets dry, you should be able to get in there with the badger. You can run it in a month or two. We, we, can can do it, it we can do it where the pipes empty out right there, yeah. but normally anything off-road is taken care of by off-road drainage. Uh, for the board, this area obviously is not that old. It's probably seven, eight years old, like Hiller Drive. Um, extension area. If, if you'd have driven down through there today after the rain that we had, um, the easement area is not very wide, but it's full of water because it's like a, a sink that's backed up. The water can't flow into the retention because there's so much <coughs> vegetation backing up that the water's just sitting there. If we have another severe storm like we had two or three years ago, all that water's going to spread out a half a mile wide into people's backyards, maybe they're their sellers, and um, that's going to be a lot more difficult to deal with than going in and actually excavating this easement that really needs to work. And I, and I know you have a lot of areas in the town that need to be cleaned, but this is this is pretty easy to get to. I think it's been on a docket for a couple of three years now. Um, it's been put put off and put off. Um, I'd like you to take a look at it. I know some of the neighbors have been requesting some action on it. I'm, I'm sure they'll want to come in here at some point if they don't see any action taken this year. So I'd appreciate it if you, if you could have the drainage committee relook at that uh, from, from last year's uh, work that was uh, taken into consideration. One quick uh, comment also on the uh, work that's going to be done on the senior center. I assume, if I may ask Jody, um, that's not going to include any work on the new building that was spent $70,000 on all that. Uh, two or three years ago to have that done, was it that long ago? We spent more than 70. Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm but just I will say that it's on the old building, and right. the old building that's concrete block will be sided and insulated to help with our energy conservation, and it will match the new addition, and new windows that are going to be um, serviceable and energy efficient. Won't be a new heating system. No, we are good. Knock on wood. One last comment. I think it's a very positive thing that uh, 
Uh, we might be looking at some solar energy even for our commercial businesses. Uh, if we can just get them to miniaturize those so we can put them on our cars and trucks, we'll be in business. They're working at a time. You'd be impressed with this operation. 